aluminum. Maggie, China, Patrick did not mention China in that list, and yet the president talked about China when he was at the White House today. Yeah, but Richard, do, we, we don't know anything. Do we know whether there's really going to be tariffs? Yes. He said today there he will told, be tariffs. He told lawmakers yesterday, Democrats, there would be gun control. He told them last week there would be immigration. Nothing happened after that. A, a political analyst this morning, unrelated to tariffs, said he says yes to whoever he's in the room with. And then everyone scrambles to figure out policy later. I'm not saying there's not going to be tariffs, but we don't know anything for sure about it. When asked in the White House briefing, Sarah Huckabee said it's his intent that it's 25 and 10 percent. Well, you, you know what that means to the, investors. You can't quantify the risk because we don't know what it's going to mean in terms of policy. I think someone who did help to quantify the risk today, uh, someone we've spoken to, a New York Fed president, Bill Dudley, said uh, protectionism is, quote, uh, it risks a trade war. It's a, quote, dead end, and it w risks right. to hurt U.S. growth. So we're talking about the gloomy, president, gloomy we're projections. Gonna, we're going to get into this in a moment in more detail. The, do we, I mean, what do we know other than... A off the cuff comment of 25 and 10 percent. There's no exemptions. We know Canada is saying, we just got a statement from Canada saying they will respond if these measures are put in place. Is it policy though? It, sh it used to be policy when the this, US president spoke, but I don't know if we. Being fulfilled. Yes, that it is, but I don't know whether we know whether this is really policy or not yet. I mean, they were, they were asked multiple times at the White House briefing, and she said, that's for later. No details. That's for later. We have to work it out. I thought what was very telling about the briefing and what usually happens, Richard, in these cases is that the Commerce Department immediately comes out with a very long fact sheet saying, this is why we're doing it. This is the injury to U.S. Uh, this, this is the yeah, injury yeah. to U.S. industries, U.S. companies and jobs. And here are the measures we've taken. We've thought very carefully about this. You didn't no, get that No, we do today. know that he's not listening to the business community. The CEO, president, has disregarded right. the advice of most business leaders. And those who I risk. want to look at the market, look at the market today, yeah. and look at how the Dow actually responded. Uh, it was pretty dramatic. If we take the graph, now the Dow had been, you and I were down at the exchange, the Dow was pretty much... It was flat. It was flat. It couldn't decide what it wanted to do, but at 12.35, the downward trend begins, mm -hmm. and it doesn't really recover, maybe marginally. I know, look, I am still not sure why Verizon is the only stock today that managed to buck the trend <laughs> in an otherwise <laughs> horrible day. I mean, Boeing, I assume, because they use a lot of steel and a lot of aluminum in their various aircraft and all the big manufacturers. What's, think about what's, been, what's bothered markets a lot recently, Richard. In fears of inflation, what did tariffs do? They raised prices, they raised yes. inflation. So you're risking the thing that's fear that markets... And, and undermining wrong. the economy. The recovery was the bright spot of this. But By the way, the, the, the wobble, the sell-off, the volatility had earlier right. was a trading-related issue. This is a fundamental issue if you have a price war and a price shock to the U.S. economy. Jean-Claude Juncker, of course, the president of the Commission, has had a response from Europe. He says the EU has been a close security ally of the U.S. for decades. We will not sit idly while our industry is hit with unfair measures that put thousands of European jobs at risk. And the Canadians, Christy Friedland, has said pretty much the same thing. I think... Final comment. Messy deliverance is going to exacerbate the retaliation we see from the EU, Canada, and others. This was the worst fear of investors and traders. They thought they wouldn't see this once he was elected, that he wouldn't follow through on this, and that he seems to be disregarding the advice of Gary Cohen, who is very important to the investment community.